Hey guys, I'm here to talk about camellia seed oil or camellia oil. It is one of those natural ingredients that everyone and their mother was raving about a little while ago. They were calling it America oil, which they've called argan oil. They've called, um, I don't know, rosehip seed. There have been a lot of oils that have supposedly been a miracle worker. Do I think it's a miracle worker? No. I've been using it for, I don't know, like three or four months now, and um, it's okay. The reason I bought it <clears throat> to begin with was because I was using rosehip seed oil to try to get rid of some of the freckles and sunspots that I have on my face, and rosehip seed oil did a fantastic job of doing that. I think it dried, absorbed so quickly, but the only problem with that was that it was a little too rich for my skin, and it caused a lot of little pimples underneath my skin. So I read actually that camellia oil has a lot of the same benefits as rosehip seed oil, but it's not as rich and it's more suited towards maybe like younger people's skin because we have less dry skin, more oily skin. I ordered this from Camden Gray Essential Oils. I get a lot of my natural ingredients from Camden Gray, but because it is like one of the cheapest places on the internet to get these things, but the problem is their shipping and handling is really expensive, so I like to bulk order, kind of like wait for once a year or something, and I'll just order everything I think I'll need, so it won't cost as much to ship. Anyway, after I received this, I saw that this said Camellia Seed Oil, and I was curious, like, what does that mean? And I looked it up on the Camden Gray website, and I found out that this particular Camellia oil is Camellia oleifera oil, and actually there are three different types of Camellia oil. There's also Camellia sinensis and Camellia japonica. Now, Camellia oleifera, I believe, is the seed, and sinensis is like green tea extract, which I don't really understand how that works, but sure. And then Japonica, obviously, is the Japanese one, which I believe is a tsubaki oil that um, Boisha uses in their tsubaki oil. I did a little bit of research, and it seems like there's a little bit of confusion over whether there's actually a difference in benefits between the three of them. Um, as far as I know, the oleifera is pressed from the seeds of the plant. I have done a little bit of looking into some of the high-end camellia oils, and I found that they don't, the word camellia oil is used almost interchangeably between the three of them. The one that I have, the oleifera one, is the most mass-produced, it's most widely available, and I would say that the tsubaki one, or the, Japon or the japonica one, is probably most rare. So, if you're going to be paying a lot, make sure that you know what you're paying for. I wouldn't really pay that much money for the Oleifera. You can find it on the internet for relatively inexpensive prices. I can't remember how much I paid for this. It's four ounces and I'm pretty sure it was under $10. Apparently the Synesis and the Japonica have more similar benefits, but someone has said overall they're all pretty similar. Camellia oil in Japan is used widely for skincare and hair care. It's used as a moisturizer, I think as a makeup remover, and as like a leave-in sort of treatment for your hair. Not leave-in treatment, but like a, um, a finishing oil or something. I've used this as both a moisturizer and an eye makeup remover. I haven't used it in my hair yet. But like I said at the very beginning of the video, I don't think this is all that. I'd be interested in trying the Jap Japonica kind, although I'm not sure I'd be willing to pay the prices for it because that one is extremely expensive. What this is to me is practically just, I've never put vegetable oil on my face, not like cooking oil, but to me it's very similar to that. And I do know that in certain places in the world, community oil is used to cook with. It really doesn't have much of a fragrance at all, and it's this yellowish color. It's very similar to like the vegetable cooking oil you'd use from the store. It's a decent hydrator. I used it in the earlier months, like late fall, and it was fine then, but then I decided I wanted something a little heavier for the winter time. Um, it didn't break me out, which is awesome because rosehip seed oil did. 
but it hasn't faded any of my freckles or anything that I've noticed. Of course, I used rosehip seed oil for much longer than I've used this, and I've used this only on and off, not continuously, so I'm not 100% sure that it doesn't do what rosehip seed oil does, but I haven't seen anything yet, and I'm not really particularly encouraged by anything I have seen. I wouldn't repurchase this. Um, and I think the biggest lesson of all of this is to do some research um, before you commit to something that costs a ton of money. This did not cost me that much. I will probably finish using this as an eye makeup remover and maybe as a moisturizer in the summertime or spring. But I definitely won't be repurchasing this, at least not from Camden Grey. Like I said, I might be interested in buying the more expensive kind of cleaning oil, but I'm not really sure I want to spend that much money either on something that might not work. I don't think people really know what the differences are between the three, and I'm not even sure that cosmetic companies really know because they use the words interchangeably, sort of. Or maybe they do know and they're just trying to rip us off, which I wouldn't be surprised. I will probably check in either through blog posts or a follow-up video when I'm done with all of this. And um, oh, I didn't mention, I bought one of these amber bottles with an eyedropper to use because um, actually, the shelf life of this is pretty good. It's um, up to two years, whereas rosehip seed oil is six months to 12 months before it starts going bad. But I wanted to be extra careful, so I put it in a dark colored amber bottle with an eyedropper, and I just drop a couple drops on, and I press it into my face or any place I want to hydrate. I've used it as an eye area oil, and it's been good, but it doesn't absorb as quickly as jojoba oil or rosehip seed oil. Let me know if you have any questions. And um, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope it was a little bit helpful. Just watch what kind you're, uh, you're buying. And um, I will see you guys soon.